there's a UFO mission, and these guys are drinking. I don't. I think the one guy is actually being scolded by the other guy, which is good because this guy knows what's up. He's like, we're like, we're trying to save, you know, multiple countries here. Like the we're saving the planet, and this guy just wants to get hand bombed. It's disappointing, really. Let's uh, let's get into this here. We've got a Contact UFO mission. Detected. So, let's send out Raven 1. I don't know if Meld is at the UFO crashes either. They weren't on the last mission. The extraction missions, but... We have eyes on the bandit. Okay. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. You got it. Okay, so it's just teasing me with the officer training school, which I'm not going to be able to get to until... First of all, I need to build a... I need power. And I just, I just need money and power and then an officer training school. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping, I don't know how much mechs cost to build, but like if we could get a mech out early, that would just solve a lot of the problems that we're having just trying to keep people alive. We've only lost one person, so it's not like the end of the world. But I think this is actually probably going to be the squad we take out here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we've got uh, Abby, Carla, Dr. Green. Oh, right. So, uh, Taylor is now okay I had to go find the name so Taylor now is going to be known as I don't know if it's Harris Tengu or Tengu Harris but it's going to be Harris because that sounds like a first name and Tengu now normally I'm just going to assign nicknames but this person actually has one requested and because it's automatically there I'll give it to him Curious. I don't know. I'm probably saying it all wrong. Really. But it's all good. So, welcome to the squad. You kind of get a boost over everybody because you're already so important. Which is really cool. This is going to be our squad, I think. Oh. We're definitely going to take out the medkits. That gives us three of them. And... The other guys... Yeah, keep your... You know, keep those things... Yeah. Good luck. We're going to need it. Visual on the mission site. Setting down. Listen up. Oh, geez. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Okay. It okay. looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Locate the crash UFO. Sweep the area for surviving crew and neutralize them. Locate and secure meld canisters. Avoid additional damage. Okay, one thing at a time. I have to say, we've been doing extremely well on the meld front. We have, I think, 80 at the base now? I don't know if that's good or not, but... Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Wow, it is dark. Ooh. Okay, there's a meld right inside here. So there's one of them. Seems like a pretty okay direction to be heading, I think. We can go in through this door. Maybe flank up the side, depending on how things go. Alright, let's bring green up. Yeah, I love his accent. So good. 
it looks like it actually might be okay to go inside here. That's affirmative. Take out that window. Uh oh. Quiet. You might have action right around that corner though. Moving out. I'm gonna have to be cautious. I think what I may do okay. is work this way as well, so that we have some potential flanking opportunities. And Tanku is like our tankiest person, so. Oh, I just have a bad feeling about this. I feel like they're gonna be right back there. Uh, but I could also find a bunch over here, it's possible, so I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna bring Carla up here. Hostile ah, okay. There's two of them. It's not the end of the world. And we did get the jump on them, so hopefully we can make this count. I could just run and gun in there. Take care of him. That leaves this one. Or I could even, if I do run and gun in there, I could get here and take care of this one. But it all depends on how this kind of flushes out. Trouble is going to be getting him because he's behind some heavy cover. Unless we were to come in through that way, so. 32% is not great. Solid copy. No vision. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't like 32% at all. What I could consider doing is using a grenade. Oh, we do have vision there. It's much better than I thought, actually. The trouble is, I would like to use a grenade, but not hit the meld. And it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. So... And even trying to hit that sectoid without hitting the meld, I think is going to be next to impossible. Oh, this is so risky. I don't like taking risks. We're gonna do it anyway. Oh god, that wasn't enough. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Thirty two percent. It's just not ideal. If we take, let's take the weaker one, hopefully. There we go. Out of the game. It seems like I've always kind of gotten the impression that even though it's percentage based, I feel like if you're closer, even if the percentage is lower, it just feels like it connects more often. I don't know if that even makes sense what I'm saying, but. Position confirmed. Let's hope round. he runs. Oh, really? Call your buddies in for backup, hey? Ah! Oh. It just got hot in here. Okay, our new sergeant just took a blast to the face. That's, I mean, it's not the worst thing that could happen, but it's not really great for morale either. Now. Can I hit a... Oh, look at how long... Look at this. It's so far, but they're just, again, a couple tiles out. 
What I could maybe do... Toss a grenade this way. I could blow up his cover. Mm, it's kind of risky. It looks like he's in there, but he's... Oh, there we go. This is happening, I think. Throwing grenade. Ah, the meld's gone. If we attempted to retrieve those canisters, I'm okay with that because them. we can still move. And I can move up into like totally protected cover and have a great flank shot. Come on, green. Good shooting, Tex. Okay. Now we need to get in a bit closer, though. Or do we? Why? Who's saying I have to run through that way? Maybe I don't want to go through that way. Maybe that's not the best move right now. There's the downed ship, but I don't see... Oh, maybe that is where we have to go. How far out this way do we go? Pretty far, it seems. Okay. Well, now I'm not sure where to be. Moving out. They're still there. I think I'm gonna heal. Still got a couple more uses, and we still have the extra one as well. On Carla. The thing I have to decide is do I want to go into full cover here or half cover here and hunker down? I think Let's I'm going to go into full this. cover here. Let's see what these guys decide to do. If they. Oh, Jesus. Help! Help! Someone help! Do not shoot at your teammates. Okay, that will work. And you got a promotion out of it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. It's... I was going to use the rocket to blow those guys up anyways. So in a way... I think we killed the one down there. So there's one in the truck. And we've got meld this way. Is what it sounded like. 50% on the one in the truck. That's a first. And what's our shot with Harris? 59%. Beautiful. Nailed him. Okay. Found the other meld. That's a good sign. Got to get Loken in here a little Loken bit more, but... Moving out. I think what I might do here is actually use Harris's med kit to heal Carla instead of using her one and only in case she gets into a situation where she can't get out of it. I think that's what we're going to do. Location confirmed. Because if she gets to be alone at one point she ne for. and she needs the med kit, then it's going to be important to have it. Heading to that location. Don't move. You'll be fine. Okay. I would like to move up. <laughs> like a lot. But... I think it's just a bit risky right now. I feel, Commander. What I will do... I could run and gun there and hunker down, but there's so much unexplored territory right now that if I did that, I could put myself in really bad position.
But I'm also okay standing out in the open if I need to. I don't know. We got five turns to get there, so I don't want to stress about it too much. What I might do, if I dash down here... That could actually work rather well, but then I imagine we're going to get an outsider who's going to see that. Can I get up onto... I can't get onto the roof until I get way over there. So green, I'll tell you what. You can just pop over here. Probably going to overwatch. Yep. Commander. <laughs> And now what I'd like to do is get Carla in a position where if that outsider shows up, we just blow him up. <laughs> like, I know it sounds a little bit barbaric, but I honestly think that's a really good way to go. Let's see. On the move. So all is clear down there. If I dash up there, though, I'm, I'm just stuck, and I'm worried about that. But I would like to get Carla in that position. You know what? Let's run out here. Just see... Yeah, okay. Had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay. So now we're out in the open, which is just super. And my rocket, pretty sure I can't make it there right now. That sucks. Okay. Do I have a place for him to run back to? I do. Same with the rookie. Hmm. Okay, I think here's what we're going to do. We are going to put Carla up here, so that if we need to use a rocket next time, we can. Because our shot percentage is like, there's just no way we can take that. So we'll move Doctor back. We'll move the rookie. I just want the rookie like far away. I don't want him getting shot at. I don't have any great spots to put him, I guess just back in here. Okay. And then from back here, we can pop smoke on these two. Keep them safe. Popping smoke. And then, you know what? We're going to just hunker down. Oh, that is so good. You definitely made a wrong move there, pal. Hopefully I don't blow up too many of the insides, but... Won't even know what hit him. No, you won't. Chalk up another. There it is! <laughs> okay, not bad. I'll take those UFOs all day long. And we got both melds again. This is good. We did take some hits, though, and I imagine some people are going to be injured for a while. Okay, Carla Boom Boom Norberg. Look at this. Four missions, 16 kills. What? See, gravely wounded though. That's that's the tough part. Sergeant now, so suppression or shredder rocket? Uh, yeah, you know what? The rockets are just so helpful. They get you out of so many sticky situations. Like two weeks though, being out is a long time. I have to get the upgrade, which reduces that like now. Additional awards are available from the following medals. So more defense of the ancients medals to give out. We've got nav computer, power source, Illyrium, alien alloys, weapon fragments, all sorts of stuff. Flight computer is damaged, but we did get a, a good one also. So let's go and sell that right away. I 
And I may end up selling these too because honestly, I'm not gonna be able to research them for a while and I'll probably pick up another one before that happens. Let's see here. What do we got going on in our facilities? I still, <laughs> the workshop is like seemingly taking forever, but I don't have like, I don't have options. I need to get a power generator going. This is really tough. We're probably only going to get one extra satellite up this month, I think, which means we're going to lose one of the places unless we get to go to one of them specifically and reduce the panic there. But that may increase it in other places, so... I'm going to need power, though. That's, like... That's... Absolute, which is probably I'm just going to build right there, so... Let's just spin and see what happens. Excavation complete. Okay, excavation's complete. Do I build the power here? Well, yeah, I think I should because if I don't... The tough thing is that it's not going to be adjacent and... Adjacency is a big deal, but my goal is to get to the steam to power the whole thing So I can always build another one here, and it'll it'll kind of work out Workshops ready in one day All right Workshop online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So that's good. And now if I want to build an uplink, it's between the power and the money. So if I can make it five days here, which I doubt. Okay, weapon fragments done. That's big. So we get scopes now. And then xenobiology... Uh, it would be good because then it's going to want us to start capturing outsiders and stuff. But if we do that, things are going to get out of hand pretty quickly. So we may want to take a different route. Beam weapons, 41 days. Jesus. Experimental warfare. Is that... Laser weapons and then beam is like plasma. I always get confused on that. I think what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna go into alien materials because no, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, maybe we should try to get to lasers and beam weapons. I don't know. That's such a tough one to figure out. I think that maybe... I No, you know what? I think... Okay. I'm pretty sure experimental warfare is actually like the Phoenix cannons. And beam weapons is, is the lasers, not the plasma. So... I th and I can't afford to go 41 days there. I mean, the more scientists I get, that will be reduced. But I'm going to go alien materials to try and build up our defenses a little bit. Uh, probably not take out regular grenades anymore. And focus on that. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. We did get another medal that we can give out. Defense of the Ancients. Uh, plus five defense when in cover. And what I could do, even, I could probably keep giving it to the same people if I wanted to. Look at these guys wounded for so long. God. I hope they come back soon. Um, it's a tough one. I think I'll probably spread the love a bit. And give this to Harris. Congratulations. You've won the Defense of the Ancients medal. At ease. Okay. Such a 
Very cool. Now, I don't know what that's going to be like. Who volunteer for mech trooper augmentation sacrifice much, but they do not leave themselves entirely behind. A mech trooper will be able to apply some of the training and knowledge from his or her previous combat specialty to the cyber suits operation. Okay, I like that. Augment soldiers. With this facility, we'll be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits, or mechs, and implant our soldiers with the cybernetic interfaces they'll need to deploy these mechs onto the battlefield. So how does this work? Can't augment rookies. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I can't augment rookies. And... <laughs> well, Dr. Green, how do you feel about this? Uh, shock absorbent armor. Oh, okay. So up close, uh, damage is reduced. Let's do it. We'll consult with Dr. Valen for the requisite amputations and begin installing the cyber suit interfaces as soon as possible. Thank you for that. Commander, we've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. See, Bradford, the thing is, is you're actually wrong, okay? We've only lost one person. And the rest are just hurt, like, really badly. So you just need to chill your sack a little bit there. And let me get to the officer training school, like, now. Let's excavate this. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine giving away a satellite? I mean, down the road maybe, but now you just could never do it. Tenku is back. Pending requests updated. Generator hopefully here. Power generator complete. All right. Now, now I could build an uplink. I need a hundred credits, which I can get from selling a couple of these things that I don't need just yet. So they're gone. I'll find plenty of them, I'm sure. We're not going to get this satellite up or this uh, uplink up for this month, but I still think that it's a good way to go. And then when this is done excavating, we could actually build the uh, the other lab, the gene lab thing. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by okay. for launch. Now, we are ready to deploy the way I do my orders. satellites is I don't launch until the very end of the month because places will not leave until the end of the month. So. Even if they're like bright red, I save it till like the last possible day to make my decision on where they're gonna go. So we're gonna keep going. Oh my god. It's happening. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable, but they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface that with. That is crazy. <laughs> I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Oh. Okay, so we have to build it a suit also. Okay, that's another level of complexity. You can now assign new mech trooper class training and equip this soldier with a mech suit. Mechs are powerful armored unit with extra tactical abilities. Only mech troopers, soldiers augmented in the cybernetics lab, may equip mechs in battle. The mech has three tech levels. Research is required to gain access to mech upgrades. Okay. Well, I definitely can get the extra money together. It seems relatively cheap to make. Uh, Illyrium, do I want to sell? I know that I shouldn't. 
I know that I shouldn't. But I know sectoid corpses are also add up. Thin men, though. Mm. Let's just sell. You know what? Let's do like this. Engineering, build, upgrade, mech, build new mech. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we've got kinetic strike. Which is cool for up close, but we're not going to run into anything that's like super up close for a while, I don't think. Also boost mobility. Flame... I like this. I like the flamethrower. New mech is ready for deployment. Go to the barracks and select a mech trooper to equip this mech for a battle. Okay. So... Now we have Squatty Dr. Green, the mech trooper. Collateral damage. Area of effect attack that destroys most cover and hits all eligible targets for 34% damage. This attack cannot cause critical hits. What? Area of effect. Is that something just around me? And what's 34% damage exactly? Is that... I have a... Th like 34% of their health? Basically a third? That's interesting. Oh, well, here it is. Let's check this out just to be sure we cover everything. So, Coneflate Shame... Or flame. Shame. <laughs> flame attack. Burns the area the mech can see and that is within the aiming template. Flame will then spill up to one tile further if unimpeded. Does not affect robots or other flame immune units. Affected units will run in panic. Oh, that's good. Okay, it has access to heavier primary weapons. As the technology improves, mechs will gain access to a variety of useful upgrades, and soldiers must undergo cybernetic augmentation to become mech troopers. We know that. Combat profile is too large to make effective use of battlefield cover. So, no cover. Uh, but that's fine. The flamethrower stream will burn not only the cone of mech troopers, but will spill into nearby areas as well. God, yes. That is so cool. Look at the HP, look at the defense. So good. And for now, we just have a minigun. Only equipable by mech troopers. Risk of catastrophic overheating precludes suppression. Fair enough. Alright. And... He's got a couple medals. Or he's got the medal, he's got the shock absorbent armor, and the collateral damage. This is awesome. Now, can I change how this looks, too? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is so cool. I mean, he's a fire breather, right? So I think he's got to be red. It, like, it just makes sense. I'm thinking like a bright red. Kind of like an assault. And he was an assault before, so that's kind of a cool way of, you know, keeping the tradition going. I don't know if I want to splatter him with goo like that. I think that's a nice, it's a nice touch. And you know what? You're a mech now. We're gonna have to cover up that head, I think. A big giant ass helmet. That looks mechy. Well, that looks good too. Well, that looks good too. <laughs> this is so rad. Okay. So cool. That's our new mech. <laughs> wow. Okay, very cool. I'm just, I'm really excited about this. Okay. Let's move on. I have to make sure that I pause before the end of the month, but we're probably going to run into an issue here soon. Nice. The excavation's complete. Nanofiber vest. Which could come in handy. Now, here's a tough question. I could go... go eh, no. Do I want to go to experimental warfare? Am I going to have trouble shooting down UFOs? Maybe. But what's more important? UFOs, which is going to cause immediate panic and potentially lose the whole game. <laughs> or being careful on the battlefield. And 41 days is a long time. I'm not going to Xenobiology yet. I'm not ready for it. We're going to go to Experimental Warfare.
Okay. So, we have one more alien abduction, it looks like, by the, before the end of the month. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Well, it seems like it's kind of a no-brainer where we need to go. We don't have the option to scientists, unfortunately. Um, going to Egypt is like, mm, it's not as important. Going to Mexico, though, we get a heavy sergeant, which just further equips our squad and puts us in a better position long term. 200 credits is great, don't get me wrong, but the month is going to turn over soon. It's a, it's a tough call, but having all those extra rockets on the field is just huge, I think. I think, anyways. So, when we come back, we're going to head to Mexico. It's going to be very difficult, though. There's going to be a lot of enemies. But uh, maybe we can sell some of the corpses to make up some of the money we're missing out on in the UK. All right. Thanks very much, guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this mech thing works out. And uh, that'll happen next. We'll see you then. Bye.